Hey guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative and today I'm going to show you how to animate your text links in Squarespace. A quick and easy way to elevate your website design is by changing how your text links behave when you hover over them. There are a number of changes you can make to your links, but today I'm going to walk you through three of the most simple and effective animations you can implement, which are going to be italicizing your links on hover, changing the color of your links on hover, and adding an underline to your links on hover. In our full post, you can grab the copy and paste codes for all of these, so I'll link that down below. And in this video, I'm also going to show you how to implement those codes and how to even tweak them to work for you. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to jump back and forth between 7.1 and 7.0 for this because there are some minor differences. But generally, we're going to just use a simple copy and paste code that comes from the blog post we wrote on this topic, and it's really easy to do. But let me just get into some quick details first. So with Squarespace 7.1, you have options of paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three, heading one, two, three, and heading four. So we have lots of different options there and you'll find these all inside your font edit panel. So here are all your options. Over on Squarespace 7.0, we only have one paragraph font, which is for some reason called normal. <laughs> And then we have heading one, two, and three. So there's a few less options for Squarespace 7.0. And you'll notice because I've added links to all of these already, you can add links by clicking the little link icon and adding a link to your text. So I've done that already because we are working on adding animations to the linked text today. You'll notice that they are all underlined and some of them are different colors. So the same thing over on Squarespace 7.1. Now, firstly, most 7.0 templates and all 7.1 sites will automatically add an underline to all of your links. And we're gonna talk about how to remove that and re-add that on hover soon. But you'll notice that all of your links have an underline to start with. This is pretty standard in web design because it just makes it obvious that it's a link. But like I said, we can remove this. And when it comes to the different colors of the links, these are actually a different color too because the regular text is just black without links. This can be updated in the site styles. So in 7.1, we can go over to design, site styles, colors, and then we'll want to go to whichever color profile we have our text on. So there's lots of different color options in Squarespace 7.1. So in this case, we're going to click edit on lightest one because that's where our text is right now. And scroll down and you'll find links. So you can change heading links and text links color. So this is just the link color. This isn't the hover color. This is just the color of the font if you add a link to it. So you can change the color of those there. And over on Squarespace 7.0, it's something pretty similar. And this will depend on what template you're using on 7.0. I'm using Brine at the moment, so this might not be applicable for you, but go into your site styles and have a look and see if you can find something similar. So under design, site styles, you're going to look for text links. So scroll down. So here under content colors, we have links and you can see it's that bright blue. So yours might be a little bit different. You might be looking for a different title, but you should be able to find something that gives a color to your links. But in Squarespace 7.0, every template has different settings. So I can't guarantee that this is a setting, but it probably is. Okay, so now that we've got the font basics out of the way, let's jump into adding our first code, which is italics. So I've linked the blog post down below where you can actually just grab these codes, copy and paste them over and on both websites I'm going to go into design custom CSS and you're going to have a little panel here where you can paste in the CSS that we've provided in the blog post so firstly let's try the italic on hover so this one is super simple I'm going to paste in the code from the blog post and then I'm going to need to edit it to work with a specific type of font. So I'm in 7.0 right now. We have the paragraph heading one, two, and three. So let's say I want this to only work for heading one. I'm gonna change where it says font style and I'm gonna put an H1. And if you're not sure what the tags are for each bit of text, you can go into our blog post and check it out. But generally it's P for paragraph, H1, H2, 
H3 for the headings. And it usually follows that rule of thumb. So you can see now when I hover over my heading one, it italicizes, so it's super simple. This is gonna be the same over in Squarespace 7.1 as well. You'll just note that there are a few extra pieces of text. So for paragraphs, you can use P and that's gonna target all of the different paragraph text. And then for headings, there's H1, H2, H3, and H4 in this case. So you just have a few more options there. So if you did wanna add the italic effect to all text rather than just one type of text, just remove everything before the A. And this is going to add the effect to every link around your site, including your heading and wherever there are links, basically. If you did wanna get more specific and just add it to say heading one and heading two, what you can do is type in H1, just as we had before. So now that's just, just gonna target heading one. And you can copy that whole line of text before the curly bracket. Put a comma after where it says hover, paste that same line and then change the next one to heading two. So now you're gonna have it working for heading one and heading two and nothing else. So I just wanted to show you that because whatever code we use today, those are the basics of how to edit it. So you can take whatever sort of hover code you want now or hover effect and that's how you apply it to different specific texts. It does get a little bit more complicated when you're trying to just target maybe your links in your menu or links that are maybe in your footer because those have different tags again. So they're not just the standard H1, H2, H3. And Squarespace does have quite a variety of different tags depending on where that text is. But these are the basics that are really good to learn. Okay, so now we've gone through all of that and we know how to do italic, we can easily do all of the other ones that are in the post. The second code we have in this blog post is how to change the color on hover. So we obviously have the built-in color here, but let's change the color when we hover over. So I'm going to just paste in the code for the hover color copied from our blog post. And again, I'm gonna change the font style and let's just do heading one again. So you'll see now when I hover over heading one, the color changes to this bright yellow which is the color we have here. And if you don't know anything about hex codes, hex codes are basically just a number that represents a color. And you could find hex codes in any sort of design program like Canva, Adobe, or you can even just look them up online. Like on a website, htmlcolorcodes.com, you can find the color you maybe want to use and it will always give you this hex code here. And all you need to do is pop that code there and it's gonna change the color. And if you wanna edit which font it targets, just refer back to the one we just worked on because that is all exactly the same. And if you wanted to, you could even combine the two. So we've got our color line and we can even add in our line for italic. So now it's gonna be italic and colored. So if you know anything about writing CSS for fonts, you could literally add lines and lines and lines of different things here to jazz up your hyperlinks. But that really gives you a base to work from and we'll just leave it at color and italicizing today. The last thing I wanna show you is how to remove the underline to add an underline on hover which is I think quite an important one because I think a lot of people want to remove this underline and it's slightly different on Squarespace 7.0 and 7.1. So we're on 7.0, let's start here. You'll wanna copy the code directly from our blog post. And again, we'll wanna add in the font style or in this case, we might want to remove all underlines. So we might just want to remove where it says font style, which is gonna apply it to everything. So this first piece of code basically says border bottom none, which means it's taking away that bottom border line on all of the text. This next piece says link and hover. So this is the code for what's gonna happen on the hover. And in this case, we're adding back that border bottom. So we're taking it away and then we're adding it back just on hover. So now you can see when we hover over, we're gonna get that bottom line and it's applying to everything because I haven't specified which font I want to add here. We've also added that yellow color again. As you can see, when I hover over, the bottom border is yellow and you can change this. You could also change the pixels, which is gonna make the border bigger. So I'm gonna change it to 10 to show you what that looks like. And that's gonna give us a nice thick line at the bottom. So there is a lot of variety you can do here. And again, you can combine this with 
the other hover states by adding italic or different colors to this section here. Or if you didn't even want a hover and you just wanted to remove that pesky line that's default on all the links, you just want to use that first piece of code. Okay, let's jump over to 7.0 because the code is slightly different, but really it works exactly the same. I'm going to copy the code over directly from the blog post. And again, it says font style. So I'm going to remove that just so it applies to all fonts. And you can see immediately when I add this first piece of code, it removes all of the lines from the text. So the slight difference here is this one is text decoration and the 7.1 was border bottom. So the code's just a little bit different, but it essentially does the exact same thing. So we're removing the text decoration, which in this case was an underline. And then for the hover, we're going to add it back in. Again, I'm gonna remove font style, so it, it applies to all of the different fonts. And we have text decoration underline, so that means the underline will be activated. The text decoration thickness, so we could turn this up to 10 again to show you. And then the color we have again. So this is essentially creating the exact same effect, even though the code's a little bit different. And of course, you can add the italics and colors and anything else you want to here within this hover code. So that is it. Hopefully that gave you a good understanding of how to edit different fonts, hover states when they're linked all around your site. If you understand those basics, you can really take that and run with it and really customize your links to however you want them to look. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, drop them below the video and I'll see you in the next one.